Active and passive reasoning. Thinking involves active or passive states, it is done by someone in the here and now. However active thoughts are considered to be more complex than passive thoughts. When a person actively thinks sometimes it can be considered as critical thinking. Because we constantly receive information from external stimuli. A stimulus could be simple as prejudice or misconception about something, even as complex as watching a biased video. Experiences are implanted in a person's brain form by external stimuli. Thoughts related after that are classified as passive thoughts, in which a person essentially lives in the full moment while experiencing a triggered stimulus. And basically, passive thinking constantly occurs, until the person analyzes thoughts influenced by external stimuli. With the mind analyzing information that is being projected to the person by external stimuli. If not analyzed instead of ignoring the thought it is sent to the subconscious part of the mind. Enabling the person to analyze why they are having such thoughts while understanding oneself and other thoughts, increasing the ability to actively think. Everyday people can be argumentative if they haven't acquired a high school equivalent or learn proper English grammar. Because finding a premise for an argument can lead to an incorrect feeling of certainty that one has mastered the corresponding power of intelligence. The fact is reality bypasses the thought, when the reality won't necessarily bring certainty. And generally, the corresponding reality is usually of a greater or lesser threat than the thought or truth related. Religious can be argumentative when it comes to non-factual and scientific terms. To reason with religious people, one ought to use biblical, factual, logical, and mathematical terms, to find solutions to intellectual and practical problems. The mind needs to be justified by God. For example, Christians believe that Jesus died for our sins, but initially, this is not a proven factual term. And they don't support scientific terms because the Bible states God created earth and heaven in one day. But to reason with the human mind, one ought to use factual, logical, mathematical, and scientific terms, to find solutions to intellectual and practical problems. The mind needs clarification. Thinking cannot justify actual reasoning, but it can justify the truth. Not thinking at all can lead to falsehood without reasoning. No matter how logical a person's thinking, and no matter how true his or her conclusion, it doesn't mean the person acknowledges the exact premise of an argument in which he or she is thinking. Having said that, no matter the public topic of discussion or personal aspect of confusion, a person needs a reason for the argumentation of opinion. The highest form of thinking occurs when a person forms a concept or invents an object of thought through the behavioral processes of abstraction, or concept formation. Active reason refers to the creation of new objects of thought. In contrast, passive reason refers only to the use of previous experience, including previously invented concepts, to achieve some practical intention. During passive reason, no new object of thought is created. Frustration can cause aggression without experience, and with experience, the challenge becomes more familiar and less frustrating. Sometimes you may get impatient having to repeat experiences, just as repeating hard tasks. To active reason with repeated experiences look for factual effects, logical and scientific solutions to automatically correct the thought process. When you actively seek out new knowledge, you attempt to understand the world. The passive reason doesn't seek out to understand the world entirely. This is where you will find the people who are more concerned with their emotions and volitional processes. Making decisions with reasoning. Making decisions after narrowing down the alternatives, is using the ability to reason responsibly. There are two exclusive forms of reasoning such as inductive, when a choice leads to or influences, and deductive, when a choice is acceptable or based upon. In a process of reasoning available information is taken into account in the form of premises. And so, if your choice does support the inductive or deductive premise a decision can be made. Therefore, a conclusion can be reached according to the basis of these premises. However, if your choice doesn't support the inductive or deductive premise a decision can't be made. And therefore, a conclusion can't be reached according to the basis of these premises. Often we perceive people who let others control their fate, as an opportunist who takes advantage of a good situation. After discussing this topic, I believe that personality type is overrated. I am seeing that isn't always the case, in general, everyday people are bombarded with choices and demands all at the same time. And they are forced to make a drastic decision when neither of the choices reflects actual beliefs and facts that they would much rather support. Generally, two exclusive attitude approaches serve the study of categorical syllogisms such as a normative attitude, whereas you would rather reflect a standard of correctness or go by the rules, and a descriptive attitude, in which you would rather consider experience or facts. In relationships, a decision can create a huge conflict. For example, say you choose inductive reasoning and normative attitude. This may not sit well with someone who believes, a person shouldn't choose inductive reasoning with a normative attitude. Or for example, say you choose deductive reasoning and descriptive attitude. This may not sit well with someone who believes, a person shouldn't choose deductive reasoning with a descriptive attitude. And for these reasons, the argument may not be of choice issues, but more about the eternal stimuli. 
in which the choice may have activated a certain trigger from the person's experience, and therefore their control issues are also activated. Making a valid conclusion or decision can involve variables, that can become argumentative therefore be assertive and do the research to reach a responsible choice.